How's it going guys? My name is Joe Fister and I'm currently the longest distance uh, driver in the Chuck D group. Um, today we're going to do my in, in the bag and uh, we're going to start out actually with the utility discs. So I got three of them right here. Uh, the Flash it has been in my bag for over a year and a half now. I use it for uh, any thumber approach. So when you don't really have that clear shot or anything like that, you got to get around or over something, I always go to the flash and uh, highly recommend that for any thumber. Um, for my next, I used to be only a flick driver person and uh, I would use the boss for that. And after the boss, I tried the Daedalus and uh, nothing bad to say about it, but I've actually gone to a more of a backhand approach. But uh, this champion boss here overturns really, really hard. So now I'm going to turn that into my next roller disc. So those are my utility discs. Let's get into the putters. So right now I currently have five putters in my bag. Um, you could call it tryouts. So right now I have the Nova XT. I have the uh, P2. D-line, the dart, and then I have two arrows. So the story of my why I have so many putters is I like the arrow for any straight shot. Um, this is the longest putter in my bag currently. And I love to use this one for any 40 or 50 foot or drop in uh, putt shot. Um, it's consistent on its straight line, but uh, I needed to have more vari variability. So I went and got a new arrow, just so that then I had two in different wares. Um, and then as far as the tryouts, it consists between the Dart, the P2, and the Nova. Um, I'm noticing now, these have been in my bag for only about a month now, but I'm noticing each of them have their different lines of flight, and uh, I think they're each going to have their different purposes uh, in different situations. I like how the Nova sticks when it hits the ground, so I can use that on any hill shot or up shot. Um, knowing that I can shoot, hit that ground, and stick where I need to be. Um, the P2 has that just finishing left curve, and uh, I can count on that consistently. And I can definitely use the dart for any drive approach, anything like around 200 feet or so. Um, let's see, next we'll go into mid-ranges. <clears throat> so as far as mid-ranges go, I'll start out with the Mako 3. This was my first mid-range uh, that I really started using for over a year. I like this one for any 100-foot, uh, 100, 100 150-foot shot. So it, it doesn't come out too often, but I can count on its uh, straight shot. So when you need that straight shot, the Mako 3 will definitely have your back. Um, next is the Star Rock 3. I enjoy this disc. Uh, for backhand, any kind of like little, little hyzer, uh, flip shot, up, up shot, anything like that. But I can cons uh, consider it for a flick going down through the trees because then it has that right-handed curve. Um, at one of our main courses, you need that a lot and I can always count on the Rock 3 for that situation. Two newer uh, mid-ranges I have are the buzzes. So I have a uh, Buzz regular and a Buzz uh, SS. and. Um, so you guys know that the buzz just goes dead straight, and I can count on that. I also like the uh, little graphic it has on it, a little bee flying around stinging you. But um, the SS, I like this one for any Anheuser shot, because it'll, it'll hook on that Anheuser, come back, and then uh, finish left. So you can you know, do any upshot uh, around the trees or around 250 foot, um, so buzz SS. All right, let's see, we'll go into a little bit of the uh, distance drivers and fairway drivers. Um, let's start in order. So I have the uh, FD2, and a lot of these are actually newer in the bag. Um, I've been experimenting with uh, some Discmania and Anova discs, but I like the FD2 because it has a consistent flight pattern, and uh, it's a speed of seven. So you know you can use this as a driver on a shorter uh, drive approach. But you can use it for an upshot if uh, it's a longer, um, longer hole. Uh, my T-Bird. Today, actually, threw this one and it hit a tree, came down on the chains. It didn't sink, sink though. 
but uh, we're really, really close. Haven't gotten that ace yet. But uh, it's an eight speed, and uh, as long as you get really good spin on it, it's a, it's a fast flying disc, and uh, it'll hold its line consistently. So that's kind of a thing that I always look for in any disc, is a, a consistent line. Uh, next, these two kind of go together. So I have uh, the Thunderbird, a nine speed, and a CD2, nine speed as well. The CD2 has a little bit more of a flex shot, where the Thunderbird is more of like a straight laser shot, as I would call it. Um, I like the Thunderbird for like a high speed shot, and uh, the CD2 I'll use for any kind of big flex. So if I need to really air it out or you know dodge some trees up the fairway, uh, CD2 is great for me. And then finally, as far as uh, this, this is a distance driver, but uh, it's an 11 speed. It's a CD3, and uh, I just would call it, you know, it's the big brother of uh, the uh, CD2. Uh, it goes a little bit faster. Now the fun discs. Um, super simple. Uh, I got two destroyers for distance drivers, and then I have a PD2, and um, they're all in different wear stages. So, in order, uh, I have this Star Destroyer that I've had for probably about six months or so. I throw this one a lot. I can throw this one with a little bit of a, an ante, and it'll go laser straight. So, high speed disc, I can get maximum distance, um, and a lot of accuracy. So, this one's a lot of fun. I always go to uh, my yellow destroyer. And then my uh, light blue destroyer here, uh, both the same weight, but just different wares. So I use this one for big hyzers over trees. Um, it's consistent in that, heavy winds, I'm gonna use it for that. And uh, that's, I try to use this one only for big hyzers, that way I keep the yellow one as a, you know, the worn disc, and then my blue one as the fresh destroyer. Um, so the PD2 was actually given to me, well, fair trade, uh, with Matt Riley. He's a member of the um, uh, Chuck D group as well. And uh, the PD2, is, it's a great disc. Um, I'm still figuring it out. I got to uh, really wear it in a little bit more. It's still really stiff. But um, I like the way it, it drives. It flies really, really straight if you put it with a lot of spin, a lot of power, a lot of arm speed. Um, but it'll also hold its line. So I can use it for a hyzer. And um, I think as I develop my game, it's going to be a disc that I can always go to for uh, maximum distance drives. So, yeah. Um, Let's see, I got this right here, so I got a little Innova uh, putt placer, and um, you know, it's a little memory thing for me, I got it uh, two years ago for a birthday present, so that's always in my bag, and uh, that's it. Thanks for joining us, uh, this is Chuck D, Joe Fister for you, take care guys.